1 Kings chapter 17. Elijah comes to the evil king Ahab. Elijah tells Ahab what he is going to do because of the sins of Jezebel and Ahab and the people of Israel. Elijah confronted Ahab. As surely as God reigns, the God of Israel before whom I stand in obedient service, it won't rain until I say so. There won't even be any dew on the ground. I hate Elijah! God gave Elijah power to call down fire from heaven. Elijah is going to be one of the two witnesses in the tribulation. Elijah will have supernatural power from Jesus to do miracles. During the seven-year tribulation, the Antichrist, the beast, and the false prophet will be even worse than Ahab and Jezebel. Elijah will war against the beast and the false prophet. Malachi 4-5 Elijah comes before Jesus begins his earthly rule. Anyone who consorts with this enemy will have their head cut off. He goes by the name of Elijah. Elijah? Is that the one who's been starting all the fires? The great leader means business. So does the prophet. Revelation 11 5 Elijah using his supernatural power against the beast and his infrastructure. The earth dwellers serve the beast and had taken his mark. Satan, the beast and the false prophet lion tell the foolish earth dwellers that the judgments from Jesus have natural causes. Newsflash! The enemy drops giant bomb in ocean and turns all the water to blood. I hate that enemy. The leader will solve this, little snafu. Revelation 8. 8. The enemy, who goes by the name of Jesus, has been frustrated by our great leader and our prophet. The leader has announced that the blood in the ocean is not a judgment from Jesus. Now for an accurate report, let's go to the senator. Thanks to the quick thinking and actions of the leader, we only lost one ship. Well, now you know it. Only one ship lost. And it would have to be mine. The Earth Dwellers throw a big party when the two witnesses are killed. Revelation 11 7 and 8. Their dead bodies lie in the street for three days. There is nothing in the media. Except this. Revelation 11 10. The Earth Dwellers rejoice over the deaths of the two witnesses. Those guys were an instrument of our enemy. Free drinks for everyone. I am sending my mom a valentine. Victory. Praise the great leader. The foolish earth dwellers are shocked when all the world sees the two witnesses resurrect and ascend into heaven. Revelation 11:12. When the two witnesses have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the abyss will make war with them, and overcome them and kill them and their dead bodies will lie in the Jerusalem street where also their Lord was crucified. The nations will look at their dead bodies for three and a half days, and will not permit their dead bodies to be buried, and those who dwell on the earth, the earth dwellers, will rejoice over them and celebrate, and they will send gifts to one another. But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God came into them, and they stood on their feet and great fear fell upon those who were watching them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. Then they went up into heaven in the cloud, and their enemies watched them. Revelation 11 11 and 12 The two witnesses come back to life. We've been betrayed. Why do bad things have to happen to gorgeous people? Why did I have to send all those gifts? Curses. Curses. Just a snafu. The great leader will have an explanation. We interrupt this program for an important bullet. We interrupt this program for. After the two witnesses went back to heaven, the angels were even more active. 
The angels were the warriors who carried out the judgments of the trumpets and bowls of God's wrath. The wrath and justice and judgment of Jesus the Lamb of God was poured out upon the earth. There were millions of people who did not take the mark of the beast. They worshipped Jesus for his loving kindness and grace. Thank you Jesus, I'm so glad you have saved us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for giving us fresh water. The believers in Messiah Jesus are grateful. They praise and worship the triune God of the Bible. They know that King Jesus will return very soon. They know that Jesus will defeat Satan and the beast and the false prophet. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting us from the plagues that have come upon the earth dwellers. Thank you for your mighty miracles and judgments. Praise Jesus.